There's your problem. All right, the UPS man just uh, dropped off the new part. It's only been six days. I've got an external battery hooked up to it. I got it in neutral. Uh, I removed all the spark plugs so there'd be less compression when it's trying to crank it. Let's see if the starter works or not. Right, I want to do a recheck on number one because it was excessively high the first time we tried it. Okay, I've got the spark plugs back in now. I want to see how the starter is going to do under full compression. Well, I'm going to stop what I'm doing. I do not want to keep cranking this over with uh, that high compression going on. I guess I'll have to remove the hood, remove the valve cover, and finally get a look at the upper valve train. We'll evaluate their overall condition and see if they need to be adjusted. All right, I've got the hood removed, got the nuts removed from the valve cover. Let's get this valve cover off and see what's going on with the valve train here. All 
but I'm going to crank it over by hand and watch everyone individually and make sure they're going up and down. And then we'll find top dead center on number one and then start uh, checking the adjustments. The service manual says to adjust both the intake and exhaust at 10 thousandths uh, each when it's hot. This is obviously cold, so I'm gonna set these about 12 thousandths and that should be good enough. All right, first let's check to see what we have. The intake actually feels pretty good. The exhaust is a little loose. All right, number one is done. Let's check number two. Well, the intake on two is way too tight and the exhaust is way too loose. All right, two is done. Exhaust is good. Intake is good too. All right, let's check number four. Intake is too loose. Exhaust is a little bit too loose also. All right, four is done. So I did order a new valve cover gasket, but for now we're just going to install the old one. It's an old cork one. It's pretty hard, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the hood off anyway. So we'll wait for the new valve cover gasket to come in the mail and get that all sealed up properly. this over by hand a few more times it was it was really feeling much easier to crank when I was just doing that oh man I think we just made some progress here I could not do that before with one hand or with two hands yeah I think that oil just did something. I wanna hook the battery back up to this and do another compression test. So before I do a compression test, I wanna crank it over and blow all that oil out of the cylinders. Otherwise it's gonna give us a false reading. The starter is still struggling to spin the motor with all the spark plugs installed. Even now, after it's broke free a little bit, which I really don't understand, it, should be, it shouldn't be having any trouble at all. So for the next video, we're uh, the last thing to tackle, I think, before we're gonna get this running, is the ignition system. I need to remove the magneto. I need to verify that it's actually installed correctly and clocked uh, properly with the internal drive gear here. I have a suspicion that that might be off. Uh, I'm also going to replace the coil condenser and points, mainly because I don't have spark at all right now. So hopefully that will fix the spark issue. 
And between that and uh, reinstalling the magneto correctly on the drive gear, hopefully we'll get both spark and proper timing. And at that point, this thing should finally start up. I hope you stay tuned for the next video with the ignition system and magneto. And hopefully I can finally get this old girl to fire up. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.